Hello, my name is Teresa and in this video I'm going to talk about how to create a search query. You will learn where to find the appropriate keywords, how to put them together using Boolean operators to create a search query. How to find a right keyword. Search databases using keywords such as concepts or subject phrase that identify articles and other sources. Once you have identified a topic, Selecting your keywords is pretty simple. Turning your research questions into the keywords is the most important part on this way. If you don't know what the appropriate keywords are, you can look in the thesaurus and find the right terminology for your research. You can use, for example, Agrovoc or Gamet. Links for those two you can find below the video. Let's look on some examples how to find a right keyword. So, imagine that you want to write a thesis about relationship between women's fashion and anorexia. First things you must do is to create a research question. In our case, it could be, for example, what is the relationship between women's fashion magazines and anorexia? Now, we must divide the topic into individual concepts. In these questions, the concept could be, for example, woman, fashion, magazine, or anorexia. You will need to translate these terms to keywords later when you are searching databases for articles and other sources. Even if a combination of words works well in one database, you may have to change those keywords to find result in another database. So in our example, it could be like this. Woman could be also called female or girl, and fashion magazine is related to fashion models and modeling industry and so on. Once you have your keywords, you have to turn them into a search query. You can create your search query or search request if you want by combining your keywords using Boolean operators. We have three basic Boolean operators, AND, OR, NOT. Let's go look what does it mean. As I mentioned before, we have three basic Boolean operators, operator AND, OR, NOT. Boolean operators AND tell the database that all search terms must be present in the resulting records. It means it's narrow your search. Boolean operators OR tell the database that any of your search terms can be present in the resulting records. We use this operator to expand your search. Boolean operators NOT will limit your search and will exclude a keyword from the result. So, for example, if you're going to write ghost, not scream, in the resulting records will be only articles about ghost but not about the scream. Another example, if you're going to write ghost and scream, in the resulting records will be only articles about ghost and also articles about scream. And the last one operator we use when it doesn't matter which of the keywords will be in the resulting records, because search results may contain either or both search terms. Often we use operator OR with synonyms. Here we are back on our example. You can see I used Boolean operator and also I use the quotation mark and brackets. If you want to find exact phrase, use quotation mark and brackets uh, you can use to combine your search strings. Okay, now you have your search query, but what to do next? It's easy, go to database and search for results. If you want to learn how to search effectively in database which are available at our university, watch our next video. Okay guys, that's it from me. If you have any question, just write us an email or write us a comment below the video. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.